Are you ready for our next lesson? In this video lesson, we're gonna be talking about that adorable vintage swimsuit. You know, I absolutely love it. And the umbrella. Now, what makes this block a little bit different? Well, my friends, it's with the use of jelly vinyl. Ooh, I'm so excited. You know, Kimberbell, they could have just simply done an applique and called it good. But oh no, they don't do that, do they? They have so many great embellishments that just adds more and more fun to our embroidery. So it's really easy to do. Don't let it intimidate you. I'm gonna walk you step by step on how it's done. The first design I wanna pull up on my machine is the background quilting. And the one that they suggest is KDQ317, the six by eight summer design. How cute is that? With the swimsuits and the umbrellas, the flowers, and of course it says summer. I absolutely love it. I'll go ahead and hit set. And then before I do embroidery, I need to add the applique on top, right? So I'm going to hit the add button on my screen and find it from my USB stick. Just scroll through. And there it is, KD5136. Okay, and hit set. And now, embroidery. The first stitch is the placement outline to show me where to place my baddie. Remove the hoop from the machine and let's trim off the excess batting. When I place the hoop back into the machine, the next step will be to stitch a placement outline for where to place my background fabric. Next, it's time for the background quilting. So choose a thread color that either closely matches your background or if you want a little bit of contrast, you can certainly do that as well. Next, I'm just gonna choose a thread color for my green leaf. Our next several stitches are going to be a series of applique stitches, just like a normal applique, right? So you have your placement outline, your tack down stitch, and then your satin stitch, and this is for the umbrella. So let's go ahead, take it step by step. We're first gonna work on the pink, and then we're gonna work on the mustard. Let's go ahead and remove the hoop from the machine and take it to the cutting table. Now you may notice that I used a darker thread here. And the reason for that is because it really doesn't matter on these stitches. You can use any color thread that you want because they actually will not be seen after the satin stitch has completed. So if you need to use a darker thread color, you certainly could do that. Sometimes I know that helps me be able to have a better visual of where I'm cutting. Okay, so now that's finished, it's going to do a placement outline for the additional stripes. Here we go. Now let's go ahead and repeat these same steps of placement and tack down for both the swimsuit as well as the flower. I wanna point something out right here. As you can see, I'm about to place my white fabric on top of the placement line. And normally, with the, as in the other appliques, we don't have to worry about the color of thread on the tack down stitch. However, this time we do need to worry about it because it actually is more of a, like a motif stitch, if you will. And so I'm going to switch that out for a thread color that I'm not worried about if it shows up. So the one that Kimberbell recommends is white. 
I love these little snippers here because there's a lot of little grooves in here that I need to get into. So this really helps me get into those tight places. Now with the white thread as my color, I'll go ahead and finish off that decorative outline as well as the fill inside the flower. These next few stitches, all it is is just changing out a bunch of different thread colors. So just prepare yourself to do a few changes, follow step by step, and you got this. We are almost finished with this adorable block, but remember this? This is our jelly vinyl, and this is what's going to just take that umbrella over the top. This is a really great addition. How is it done? Very simply. The first thing I'm gonna do is place my pink over top. I'm gonna make sure and change my thread color for pink as well. And then it's just gonna do a top stitch over the original satin stitch just to hold everything down. Now I'm gonna trim this, but be careful as you do so because there are no finishing stitches on this beyond this tack down. So you wanna take your time to do it really nice and even and have a nice smooth curve. Of course, if you don't get it exactly the way you want it, as soon as this is finished stitching and you want to uh, do a little trim trim afterwards, you could absolutely do that to just kind of even things up. Pretty simple, right? Now be sure that on this center one that you actually do go up and around because this is where the yellow jelly vinyl is going to cover. So you wanna make sure and get the center piece out. All right, there we go. I can see here that I wanna do just a little bit closer of a trim. So I'm gonna take my little snippers here and do that. Feeling pretty good about that. And the final stitch out on this one is going to be to place the yellow jelly vinyl over top. I'm gonna change out my thread color for the yellow and it will do a top stitch around. Go ahead and trim that out. And then the absolute final stitch on this is just the umbrella top. And you can choose any color you want. On mine, I'm going to choose blue. All right, and with that, we are finished with this adorable block. Didn't you have fun? I sure hope so. And I'd love to see your photos. Be sure to tag us on social media using the hashtag My Girlfriend's Cool Shop and Kimber Bell. We'd love to see your photos, get excited for you, cheer you on, and I can't wait to see your completed projects. Good luck. Don't forget, you're going to just trim this up to six and a half by eight and a half. You could use your orange pop rulers to do that, or you could simply take a look at the cutting guidelines. I'm so excited to see your progress. Have fun with this, keep stitching and doing all the things you love. Thank you for joining us and be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are the first to know when a new video drops. Bye-bye.